Is this guy for real? I think so. <laughs> Pack with more extra points. Harold Koontz in Oklahoma, a sports anchor there, absolutely lost it when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Yeah, two things here. I don't like it. One, uh, I cover soccer uh, a little bit. You cover hockey. You've dabbled in some beach volleyball, I think, during the Pan Am <laughs> sure. games. I really like that. Um, but I'm not a fan anymore. You know, I, I used to be a huge Kansas City fan. Used to be a huge uh, international soccer fan. So I'm American. Yep. Uh, I don't care anymore who wins. I have lost all emotion in terms of who wins games and who I support. The other thing is, if you're a huge Eagles fan, how did he not know what was going on in the game? It was like he was surprised that the Eagles had just won the Super Bowl. How are you not following minute-to-minute -minute updates? Yeah, even if you're working, like, you know, check Twitter here and there. He seemed completely stunned. He starts crying on air, which I thought was taking it way too far. I understand getting a little giddy. You know, they haven't won in forever. But come on, man. Hold it together. Way too much. Next up, Rob Gronkowski's week gets even worse. Lost the Super Bowl. And now possibly lost a couple of safes. Yeah and uh, maybe even guns from his house in Foxborough, yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah, we saw that video, and he's kind of poking his head out a little bit, checking to see who's around. I actually thought we might see the old Gronk there come out and say that his guns haven't been lost and maybe flex <laughs> it up a little bit. That would be fun. Uh, who knows what's in the safes. Hopefully it's not, you know, millions of, of cash or something. With Gronk, it could be anything. Um, but, you know, geez, you, you lose a Super Bowl, you come home, and now your house has been ransacked. What uh, It's a terrible way to, to recover from a loss. Well, and so after the loss, he actually told the media that he's not sure if he's going to come back and play. So it's like this has just been, you know, thing after thing. Yeah. I get, what is the saying that, that bad luck comes in threes? That's ridiculous, too. He's going to come back and play. This is what all players say if they lose Super Bowls. <laughs> it's getting stupid. Meanwhile, in Pyeongchang, there are 1,200 security guards that are sick. They've caught a virus. And, oh, man, this is a bad omen for this Olympics. Yeah, I was waiting for something like this to happen. Every Olympics, we have some kind of thing that comes up beforehand that's going to yes, ruin the Olympics, always. whether it be somewhere in Sochi there's not enough snow or the ice is melting up on this mountain somewhere. Yep. Now it's the norovirus. Let's, let's be honest. I'm not really buying into this ruining the games. One of the officials over there has come out and apologized. It's a bit much, but yeah. that's what you've come to expect at Olympic Games. Yeah, there's vomiting from these guys and the stomach cramps. You know, whatever. It seems pretty, pretty, pretty chill, but also... It's getting very cold there, and the locals might not go to the opening ceremony. Also, so there, there's a lot of controversy. I'm also kind of picturing all the athletes like in bubble wrap now, like in their rooms, <laughs> afraid to go out, like yep. scrubbing everything. Kind of like our camera guy here. He's afraid of just about <laughs> everything in terms of germs and stuff. It's going to get weird over there. And we leave you with not the dumb item of the day, but with the heartwarming item of the day. Based out of Arizona, a 15-year-old with special needs put into a basketball game, and just watch.